Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. This is the Take 5 Art Challenge for March. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, me and 12 other lovely ladies every month take on the challenge to use five prompts in some type of art piece. Um, and then we all post a video to give you guys inspiration and in hopes that you will also take on the challenge um, and show us what you created with the prompts. So this month's prompts were actually picked by the um, founder, if you will, of this challenge, Kara. So I uh, leave her channel linked below as well as all the other ladies and any other information you need to know. But this month's prompts are washi tape, flowers, doodling, tissue paper, and adding a border. Now I is struggling a little bit with this month's prompts. Um, one, it's mainly the flowers. The flowers are really throwing me off. Um, so I have this collage paper, which I'm gonna count as my tissue paper, and it has a flower on it. So we're just gonna go with that, okay? <laughs> um, so what I'm going to want to do is make some cards um, to put in my Patreon happy mailers. Um, my, Patreon, my patrons who are on my top tier of Patreon get a little mailer every month. Um, so I want to include some in that. So I think I'm just going to glue this here in the center and we'll get started. This is going to be hopefully a quick uh, real time journal with me because I am doing this the night before and it needs to go up um, so don't have a lot of time <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna take some gesso I'm not sure what I want to do on the top so I'm just gonna use clear gesso instead of like a matte medium um, and Glue this bad boy on here, basically, and hope to not get any on my table. So yeah, I have um, a couple of people ask me, usually just about every month, um, if they can just play along um, with the Take 5 Challenge. And um, yes, absolutely, that is the whole point of us ladies sharing uh, this challenge with you is that we hope you will also take the prompts and do something with them, get a little bit out of your comfort zone, have a little bit of fun. Um, so absolutely, please, please always play along. You don't have to post uh, what you created anywhere if you don't want to. I mean, we love seeing what you created, but it's not like you can't participate if you don't post it. You know what I mean? Like, there are no real rules about that. This is not sticking <laughs> at all. I don't know why. Usually this whole gesso as a glue thing works fine. Maybe I just don't have enough. Just need more. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully this dries in the next century, right? Because that shit is already dry. Somehow. There we go. That works a lot better. So I guess this is the technique, piece, piece by piece. Don't just lather it all on there and expect it not to dry.
I know at this point I have gesso on my table, but I just don't really care at the moment. So, my plan is to use this glitter washi to make flags, which was something I did when I first bought it and I have not used it since. So, I'm going to take the black glitter washi, make little flags, and attach them with um, the stapler. So, and I also want to use some just like snarky phrases because that's the mood I'm in today. So, obviously I need some other detail. Um, I'm going to do a border eventually. So I think I'm going to do some swatches and doodle around them. It's something that um, I've done before that I like to do. Let me show you an example real quick. Um, so, hello. Like so. They look really cool. So for the sake of drying time, oh my gosh, so not dry. I think I'm going to use some gouache and now I just have to pick a color theme. Go with the metallics. So we have Pearl Noir. Bronze, and Pearl Emerald Green. Why? No idea. All right, and this is still fairly wet. And I should plug my heat gun in, but I just have not. So, my plan was to, how long is this? We're just eyeballing this, so it's probably going to be super crooked, but... There's that. They're going to be the strangest looking cards in the world. They're going to be like bookmarks. <laughs> oh boy. See, I'm usually pretty good at winging it, but this is what happens when I straight up like am not feeling it. <laughs> All kinds of bad stuff. There we go. So I guess they're going to be like little like name cards or something. <laughs> uh, that and this stack is totally longer than that stack. We're just going to go with it. They'll be unique, that's for sure. So I think I'm just going to go straight up like square swatch.
It's like the most random project ever. I told my boyfriend to keep an eye out for these like um, peach flavored Red Bull that they're like special edition coming out with because one of my other friends in Colorado sent a picture of one to me and I was like I have to try this. Um, for those of you that don't know I am a former Red Bull addict. <laughs> um, so I try to just have one from that time to time. Not go too crazy. But anyway, um, he just texted me and told me that he found them. So I'm so excited to find out where so I can try one. Last, I think last year or the year before they did the grapefruit one and that one was so good. Okay. And then bronze. And while that's drying, I suppose we could make the little washi tape flags. So there we have our flags. None of them are the same size, <laughs> of course, but I'm not really worried about it. These are kind of dry, so I'm going to take my Tosca paint pen and the black one millimeter which is like super fine. Well, not super fine, but I don't know what the technical, the technical measurement of it is, but we're just gonna draw around. So what I like to do is draw around the actual like shape of the swatch. And then just draw a box around it. Oh no! And if you draw over wet paint, you will ruin your paint marker. Which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> so, do as I say, not as I do. So you just draw around the shape of the swatch and then you draw a box around it like so.
So while I impatiently wait for the rest of this to dry, because clearly I'm destroying my marker, we'll work on these four here. So I love this one. Oh, these aren't cut. That's weird. They're like straight up strips. So if the saying stops in the middle, you have to like cut it off. Let's be. Skipping the gym buddies. Because that's my life. <laughs> and I'm sure one of my Patreon ladies can relate. Somebody must relate. Now I gotta decide where I wanna put the little right there. Perfect. And do I want to do a border with my Stabilo maybe? I feel like they don't need borders because I bordered the swatches. Like does that count as doodle and border? Yeah, I liked it better without the border. All right, so we'll just keep going. We'll do good morning, no such thing. I love how big these are. Cause then they're like, bam, like I'm here, hello. I will never, ever get my shit together. That's great. I need a big one. Oh, that's not done yet. It's like the perfect size, too. Maybe they do need a border. Maybe they need black ink border. This one's kind of, kind of done. I will never, ever. I will never get my shit together. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for saying that like seven times. So much to do, so little people to do it for me. I just want to make like 7,000 of these. 
These are so fun. My dentist told me I need a crown. I was like, I know, right? I will definitely leave these linked for you down below. Because they come in black and white. The exact same sayings. And I feel like everybody needs these in their life. Turns out I'm not an afternoon person either. Now I have to finish My decisions are not always right, but they are always interesting. All right, and one more. If loving you is wrong, then get lost. There's just not enough time in the day for all the stuff I'm not going to do. Okay, and 
then now we're going to edge them all. It's looking like because of my lack of patience, I may have to glue some of these chats down. Yeah, probably. Which admittedly is my own fault for not being patient enough. That was really messy. And there we have it, this month's Take 5 Art Challenge. Please play along and use the hashtag Take 5 Art. I will leave as many things as I can that I use today linked in the description box below so you can check them out if you would like. I'm so loving these um, little sayings here. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos let me know what you thought about the real time less chatty video um, with kind of the sounds of me creating I'd love to be interested in what you thought about that I'd love to hear what you thought about that and I'll catch you guys in my next one take care guys bye